Hi all, welcome to the workshop and I thought I'd start the week off by giving you an update of the ET build. So where are we at the ET build? Well, uh, at the moment I have pretty much finished the base section and I've also finished the uh, engine and all the electrics that go with it and it looks just like that. Uh, as you can see, the wires just coming out the bottom there. The other additions, I put a power supply, as you can see in there, so we can power this. This is all going to be 9 volt, so it's going to be powered through 9 volt. Uh, once I've got this all uh, glued down, because it's not glued at the moment, I will uh, turn it on and show you what it looks like as well. What I'm going to be starting to do, as you can see there, is I'm creating the door, which I've already done there. Uh, I'm going to backlight that, and we're going to be doing the ramp. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing, and also we're going to be doing the legs, that go in each side here. So this is the ramp. This is the frame that goes underneath it. This is like a wood. Uh, so I've already primed it. I do need to uh, paint that. They go around this way, like that. And then we have these brilliant plasticky sections here. You see it's flat on one side, but you've got this lovely texture on the top. Uh, they're gonna be glued on top, just like that there, and that there. Now obviously the frame underneath needs to be painted black, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting some little miniature hinges just on this side here and here so that when this ramp used to go up, it actually goes up like that when it closes. So if I have two lots of hinges just at the top here and here, it will be able to do that. Now, one big problem I've got is that the actual stalks that hold the uh, ramp to the ship I haven't got, so I'm gonna to have to fabricate something there uh, to do that, which is pretty much what I'm gonna be working on today. I've also already primed uh, a lot of things. You see, I primed the rings here. I've just gotta take some of this flashing off. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Uh, you'll notice I haven't primed in the inside here, and I don't intend on doing that. This is the only area you're seeing, and against this wall here, we're gonna have a diffuser in there anyway. So I've done that one, and we've done this one as well. So uh, basically, the way these go, is kind of like that as you can see that's all primed but in the inside it's still white uh not really much to do on this at the moment i'm still waiting for some paint i am going to be painting these gold and then the only other thing we're going to be working on is these legs now the way these go when you get the feet they're pretty solid you see and there's no holes in the top so i needed to drill a hole just to get this central stalk in there and the way they go is basically we have two lots of braces either side here that go on kind of like that let's get this one in and then these will go into let's just show you on this camera here looking like that and then we've got a bridge that goes between these two here that looks like this and this will eventually glue something like that there on both sides and then when I've got those, obviously I'll paint them, uh, prime them, paint them, and then they'll go onto the ship. But uh, this is what I'm probably gonna be working on for the rest of the week. Uh, ideally, by next week, I'd like to have all these legs and the lighting uh, in place. Now, regarding the lighting on the legs, just so you know, uh, there is a hole here, but there wasn't lighting on the easy ship here. If you look at these pictures, you can't see any lighting. So I'm gonna fill that hole up, and I'm gonna make a hole just there, where I'm gonna be putting a nano. I've already made a hole in the top where I'm gonna put a three millimeter yellow LED and then one more hole just there, which is where I'm gonna be putting a red nano LED. Now I'm very much aware that those colors aren't screen accurate, but there are three lights on the legs. I just don't like boring white lights everywhere. I wanna add some color to this build. So that's why I'm putting a uh, yellow light, a white light and a red light on each of the three legs. Well, there we go, the engine is mounted to the bottom of the ET ship. Uh, the entrance is illuminated as well. So all I've got left to do now is uh, do the legs and the ramp. Okay, this is the next day and uh, the things that I've been doing today, basically I've just made these holes bigger here, here and here so I can get the legs in there, which I'm gonna do later. And at the moment I'm just uh, priming the legs up. I know how they're gonna look now. So uh, I've got to get three legs in there and that's pretty much what I'm aiming to do for today. So as you can see, this is what the lights look like in the legs and this is just a trial to see how this looks. So here's a quick test fitting of the leg. 
Uh, once again, I haven't painted the leg yet. That's just an undercoat on there, but that's one that's been uh, still got an undercoat, still got to paint that, but that's one with all the electrics already done in. So I need to make these two like that. And I just did a quick test fit in there just to see how that's going to look. Now I'm also just checking if it's level here. If you can see that the bubble's just slightly to the left where the table's slightly to the left as well. So that's pretty much bang on it. Uh, what I haven't accounted for is the differences between that side and that side. So I'm just going by eye. And by eye, it looks straight. So uh, I'm going with that. And here's where we're up to. We're about to mount the legs. But they are all in. And all the electrics are working. As you can see, there's three lights on each leg a red one a yellow one and a white one and the same on that one now this is where you come to the nightmare builds i'm sure all modelers go through this that everything seems to be going to plans and then suddenly something happens and you're like oh god you've gone back a step uh, as you just saw then when i was panning along the legs one of the legs was off and then suddenly the lights come on well, I had a loose connection somewhere. I just couldn't find it. I just could not find it one little bit. I thought it was the uh, power supply when it went in. It wasn't. I thought it was the earth. It wasn't. Uh, it, it got so much to a point that I could just stroke one of the legs and the lights would come on and off. And I'm like, what is going on? And I had already fitted those legs. They're already glued in, as you can see from this picture. We've got the resin round there. The legs are in. So uh, I took the really hard decision to pull all the wires out and put them all back in again, making sure the connections are absolutely perfect. So uh, that has now been done, but uh, it was a nightmare on Saturday, I tell you. That's what day I did it. It took me about four hours to take all the wires out and then thread them all straight back for again, sheaf them all up, paint the uh, outside of the wire. It was a nightmare, but I'm sure a lot of builders have had that issue uh, now and again. So there we go. Absolutely loads done today. All the electrics working, which I'm happy about. Uh, the biggest shock I had is this power supply here I had set for 9 volts, uh, but I've set it for 5 volts and everything's still running absolutely fine. And I checked it with the uh, the lights that go round as well and it's still absolutely perfect at 5 volts. So I'm going to keep it at 5 volts for the minute, but uh, I need to put the ramp in, I need to put the lights for the door in again, and obviously I need to sand down and file down the tops of those legs there, but that's tomorrow's job. So basically I took the top of the legs off and what I did is I used a Dremel uh, with a cutting disc, just cut them off and then used the sanding disc just to sand them down. I do still need, it's sitting back there actually, I do need to still sand them down just a touch so that the gold ring that we've got that goes around the top of that will sit on flush. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but then I did a light test just to see how it looks. Okay, once again, the lights are off. Um, I've just done a test fit after cutting the legs off of how the... Uh, lights are going to work inside now obviously that's going to be filtered yellow it's going to be a lot toned down so uh, you're actually going to be able to see which way each uh, ring is going but it does need to be lifted by about a millimeter so i'm going to use some sticky pads to actually put that module in and keep it in place so i'm just going to give you anatomy of where we're up to at the moment so obviously the legs are in i have now put some sticky pads on here and i've put the uh, module that i made to do the revolving lights around the next thing that we need will be this ring here which is normally a clear acrylic and then i've just painted it gold as you can see here this is the tamiya gold uh, the ts21 i believe it is uh, something i did notice uh, we've got et engraved in there so i think this has been repurposed from something else for this build i haven't got a clue what that is but this ring is basically going to be sitting just on top there now at the moment it does it, it seems like it fits flat but it's not completely flat i do need to sand down just a bit more off these edges here and that will be flat now all the power for the whole of the bottom of this is all in place ready to go these two wires that you can see coming up here are going to provide the power for the upper section of the ship they're also powering this at the moment now this all comes from the jack plug down here and it's all being run off five volts the arduino seems to like it so uh, this will go on kind of like that and then the next stage we're going to be putting on if i can just move this over to the side there will be this ring here now this ring has got the hieroglyphics around the outside this still needs to be painted and i've got a titan gold for this so it's a lighter gold than the ring you just saw there and i've already put um, a diffuser in there and then some yellow acrylic around the side to diffuse that up so what we do is bring this over here just like that and then we'll put the bottom one 
this way round on first, just making sure all the wires go up, just like that. Obviously I'll straighten this out later on. I'll cut these wires shorter as well, so it's nice and tidy. And then the last thing we've got to do is put this other one on this way round. So that is how it's put together. So I'll light this up and show you what this looks like. And there we go. I think I'll leave it there for this week. But basically the ramp lights are in now. Pretty much the whole of the bottom of the ship is now complete. Now the only thing I haven't done is I haven't touched all the sections together. I don't want to do that yet until I've done the electrics for the top. Realistically you haven't got to do it. It just slots together after that. But as you can see I'll put some power just at the top there. And that will be my feed for the top of the uh, spaceship there. But that is where we're at at the moment and that is one hell of a lot of to do in one week but I'm so happy with that that looks absolutely brilliant so there we go it's just sitting there at the moment as I said I haven't attached any of these rings and I still need to sand that down that's probably why you notice a little gap underneath that uh, that's what I'm going to do today I'm also going to be painting these gold the filters in there weren't fixed as you see they can just come out at the moment so I'm going to be painting that gold uh, once that's done I'm ready to start on the midsection of the ship which is this section here. This is what we're gonna be tackling this week, putting all the lights in there. I'm also gonna be putting the uh, lamp engines in as well. Um, I'm not using optic fibers, I'm that crazy. I like LED so much. I've ordered, uh, let me think, there's gonna be nine, nine, 18, 27 LEDs to go for these three things all the way around here. That's two three mil reds, one five mil white. And then I've got some bright, nine bright, white LEDs to go for the lamps in that. But that's gonna be this week's challenge. Now obviously I'm building this alongside Phil Siegel over on Spruverse and I've put his latest video up there. It's also linked at the end of the video as well. Uh, but he's been doing regular updates on Instagram and I've put the Instagram feed just down there for Phil. And it's, uh, it's just uncanny that I know he's building the Yay Monsters one, but I don't know what way he's doing it in what uh, sort of order he's doing it. But it turns out we're pretty much doing it exactly the same way. We're building the legs, we've built the bottom section and stuff like that. Um, and I put some pictures up here just to show you some of the uh, things that he's done on Instagram. But by all means, uh, go and check his Instagram out and definitely go over to the YouTube channel and uh, subscribe so you can see what this looks like uh, when it's been um, developed by a different distributor, if you like, Yay Monsters. Uh, I'm building the golden armor one here, but uh, I've really enjoyed the build this week and I hope you've enjoyed that video It's looking really good. Um, I've decided where it's going to go It's going to go where Yoda is at the moment once I've got the diorama there and I'll have the uh, echo dot uh, Controlling it so basically when I tell it to turn on it will turn on so this will be blinking away in the backgrounds of all my videos But uh, I really do hope you like that video if you did Please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care